Hey everyone, so in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a foam printing plate and then use it to print, okay? Um, this is just an example of the foam. It's the same styrofoam that you, um, uh, you have for takeout boxes, okay? And you can actually reuse those um, to create foam prints if you want, okay? Um, for this process, you will need a foam printing plate, okay, a full-size foam printing plate, and you're gonna need um, a ballpoint pen is the best thing for you to use to create your drawing, okay? Um, so you're gonna create your drawing with a ballpoint pen on your foam printing plate, okay? And then you are going to use that to print, okay? Um, so just so I don't waste an entire piece for this video, I'm just gonna use a tiny, tiny guy, okay? Um, and I'll just make like a little snail character or something. You need to actually press into the foam. It won't work if you just draw on the very surface of the foam, okay? It's got, you've got to press into the foam that creates that indentation where the ink will not um, reside, okay? Um, you don't want the ink to get into those indentations because the indentation is what creates the print, okay? And it'll make more sense when I actually start printing, okay? So let's make a little snail character. I don't wanna do this. Um, do it like this. So um, this is what they call a foot on the snail. Okay. And then I'm gonna come on up and give him his little eyeballs. Okay. Hmm, those eyeballs are probably not gonna turn out in the print, but you'll see what I mean when I print it, okay? Things that are really close together don't always print nicely. Okay. All right, so this is just a really simple little guy that I'm gonna print. And then I'm gonna print a big image too, so you can really understand the process. Just ignore my phone in the background. Hopefully that whoever that is doesn't call again. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> go ahead and put some ink down. Now this is not your typical ink, it's block printing ink. It's water soluble, mean, meaning that it's um, easy to clean up. Okay, there's different types of block printing ink. You can always get, you can also get an oil based, not as easy to clean up. Okay, um, but when it's water based like this, it's easy to wash off of surfaces. But I'm not going to guarantee that it won't stain. Okay, and now I'm mixing colors for this, um, just because. It's fun. <laughs> All right, so now I've got my ink on my plexiglass, okay? So this is a piece of plexiglass that I just put the um, printing ink on. And this is called a brayer right here, okay? So now I'm gonna take my brayer and I'm gonna roll the ink out. Now, since this is a really small print, I'm not actually going to use a lot of ink. Okay. You want to make sure the ink is nice and even when you roll it on to the surface of your foam. So, okay, got my little guy. Now, I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm going to lay it on top of my inked piece of foam.
Hey, you can use your fingers. Um, if you're doing a bigger print, sometimes it's nice to just take a big brayer and just roll over it to make sure that the ink transfers really well. Now I'm ready to pull it off. Ooh, okay, so this is what I was talking about. Remember how I said that the eyes, like the pupil with the circle was too close together? So that is something that can happen when your lines and your shapes are too close together. They won't actually print very well. So um, this was actually um, a good learning experience, right, guys? Okay, I got to show you something that um, maybe you can prevent when you do your print. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna show you, this is a print I've, I've printed before. Um, it's an abstract kind of pineapple that I made. <clears throat> so I'm gonna print a big guy now. So I'm gonna get a, just a little bit more ink on my printing plate, or I mean on my um, plexiglass. And then I'm gonna go ahead and roll it out. All right, beautiful. All right, so now I'm gonna roll the ink onto my printing plate. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and even. You wanna work rather quickly. If you don't work quickly, sometimes the ink will actually dry. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take paper, lay it on top, use my hands to apply pressure to the paper. Now I'm going to take the brayer, just kind of roll over the surface to make sure I'm completely transferring. I got it. So let's go ahead and do the reveal now. Ooh. Wow. I like the way it turned out. Okay. All right. So now you know how to print with a foam printing plate. Super fun. Happy art making.